I'm here with Darius Love. How are you? I am fine, Katrina. Not as fine as you are, but I'm doing just fine. Oh. I'm honored to be here on TV with you. Miss Philippine you. herself, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, Miss Philippine's tourism. Yeah. But it's very nice having you here. So what made you want to be a part of this foundation? Well, first and foremost, Victor Nobel is a personal friend of mine. Um, I go to all of his events. To the, Have you ever been in the Victor Nobel Beverly Hills Vineyard? Never. It's a 187-acre vineyard. We have helicopter rides there. We do charity events. They did Rihanna's charity event, raised $9 million. We're doing Kanye West's charity event there. I have a charity called Kids Feeding the World, and Mr. Novell allows for my charity to be a recipient so we can feed my nurse children around the world. I love that. So you're all about giving back then, right? You have to be. I grew up in Watts, and um, you know we're blessed to be a blessing. I've been acting since I was three years old. Started out on a Nickelodeon show with Jessica Alba. Ended up going on Sister Sister with Tia More and Tamara. Ended up going from there to CSI. Um, Las Vegas as a reoccurring cop and now I have to play Tupac as you can hear the Tupac song came on. Exactly. Big shout out to 93.5. They over there rocking the Tupac songs live for us, giving you that Pac vibe. You know, we call it Pac Energy. You go to the truthabouttupac.com. We have 51 million followers, 500,000 subscribers, and we're now working in YouTube Space LA to bring you the truth about Tupac before the movie. There you go. Well, how do you feel? I mean, do, what, have you always been listening to Tupac growing up? I'm going to be honest with you. I was one of those guys that grew up to Wu-Tang, Nas. I was a backpack rapper on the West Coast. I used to think, yeah, I used to think Tupac was angry until I started to really take my time to listen to his music and learn how he channeled the negative and the positive, right? And he was more, I, I don't call him a, a revolutionary, a evolutionary, because he was about doing things for the people, being a voice for the voiceless, you know? And as I got older, I just, who would have known I had to play Tupac. I'll get the Kobe Bryant and Tupac lookalike on the internet. Aren't you excited? I'm so excited. It's like a dream come true. Huge opportunity. Yes. But you know what? Even though you've been acting since you were young, 51 million followers, but you're so humble. What keeps you so humble and so sane? God. God. You put God first. You put your faith, family, and country comes first. You got to realize that it's a village that raised one. Magic Johnson being a business manager, Jim Brown being an uncle. I had different examples of what it is to carry success which is responsibility it's not about your ego it's not about how much you can buy it's about how many lives you affect like Tupac like Tupac and that's why he's the perfect fit for the new Tupac movie when is it coming out we start filming in August big shout out to LT Hutton Morgan Creek Productions Cheetah Films we got a new director John Singleton is not working with us unfortunately but we do have Carl Franklin who's a director out of time directed Denzel and Devil in a Blue Dress so we got a real quality production coming for y'all seven years in training been getting ready to play pop lost uh, 30 pounds of body weight boxing at Manny Pacquiao gym hanging out with Floyd you know so oh. Speaking of Manny and Floyd, the fight's coming up. Yeah. You said you were going to go. Yes. Who are you really cheering for? And don't say just because I'm Filipino. You better answer All from right, the heart. Katrina, I got because you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. I hang with Manny. I work out with Manny. I hang with Floyd. I'm a real person that's just about the truth. I want a good fight, being a sports fanatic. You're going to see two fights, so I'm not going to put my money on the first one. You know what I mean? But it's all money team. And more importantly, Manny Pacquiao is a great servant to his community. So I'm more worried about what people do outside of the ring than what they do in the ring. Yeah. What up, Easy? That's my man Easy right there. <laughs> Hardest working man in Beverly Hills, y'all. All right, there you go. Here you have it from Darius Love. Um, how can fans stay connected with you? you have social network? Yes, go to Darius Love uh, underscore between love. I'm here to Darius with love. Go to truthabouttupac.com and more importantly, kidsfeedingtheworld.org. Insta Foods International. We provide the only food therapy product in the world that provides all 22 amino acids and omega-3s in a two-ounce serving that's not chemically processed, is gluten-free, non-GMO with a shelf life of 3.5 years. We won the Life Saving Solutions Award. It's uh, FDA, USDA, and Cornell University certified. We fed two and a half million people doing Hurricane Katrina. So when you donate 50 cents to your favorite celebrities uh, chapter under the kidsfeedingtheworld.org, we deliver you this Insta Food meal that is one of the only meals and natural disasters that you want to have. And uh, this is what we do the entertainment for, to give back to the community and to be able to be an example of what it is as a humanitarian. And more importantly, hopefully, you know, we have beautiful people we get to meet in the process like Katrina. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for having this interview. Thank is there you. anything else you want to say to everyone out there, everyone that's a part of this? I community? just want to thank Victor Novell for doing what he does because you don't understand what it is. You know, a lot of people say that they care, but when you display love, love is an action. 
when you do something for the community over and over and over and it has nothing to do with monetization and monetary means, we got to give a big shout out to him. I mean, I call him the real life Santa Claus. I was actually at his house at the Christmas. He had reindeers, he had Santa Claus there, but I call him the Santa Claus because he puts joy in everyone's life. So to the Victor Novell Foundation, thank you for putting this together in the community. One day I'm going to grow up to be just like you. There you go. Here we have it, Katrina Jane Demrandon. There's, There's love. love. With Fan TV, guys. Stay tuned. Cartoon movie coming soon, you go. <laughs> there you go. Kept it real. <laughs>